Good evening, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about MongoDB versus Snowflake. So first, let's take a look at the overview. As everyone knows, MongoDB is a NoSQL database. It uses JSON-like documents and optional schemas to store the data. MongoDB provides self-serviced, self-managed, and SaaS service versions. At the other hand, Snowflake is a cloud-based data warehouse. It is entirely SaaS. It is more, mostly used by commercials. The features. So MongoDB contains a collection of documents. The documents store data in the form of key value pairs. And MongoDB supports Mongo query language. It's a proprietary query language created by Mango the company itself. Snowflake uses partitions and clustering technology to optimize query and enhance performance. Snowflake also provides a secure sharing feature, which is very powerful and uh, soft, uh, reduce a lot of trouble of sharing data. It is a Dropbox-like feature, so the data owners can easily share the, the, their data with another Snowflake user. And Snowflake supports Ansing SQL, which is the standard SQL format. Performance-wise, MongoDB provides excellent performance when it comes to unstructured data. At the other hand, Snowflake provides excellent performance for huge volumes of data. Transactional. This is the most commonly asked questions whether Snowflake is a transactional database. So the answer is no. It is not designed for transactional system. It does not, when if the use case of your application has contains lots of updates, inserts with small amount of data, then you should not go for Snowflake. And on the other hand, MongoDB is a transactional database which means you can use MongoDB for your transactional applications. And another question, web application. Is Snowflake for web application since it is not transactional? The answer is also yes, or it depends. If your web application is an analytical application or the part of your application which requires to query a big amount of data uh, or generate reports. In such case, you can use Snowflake for your web application or the analytical part of your application. Although you should still use a traditional database such as Postgres, Postgres to manage users, sessions, and transactional transaction no queries okay in summary both are great products from great companies i will advise by their stock thanks a lot